Oh, what's going on, everybody? Frankie Slauson here, and it's, uh, well, actually, it's like 4.22 a.m. right now, right here on a Sunday night or Sunday morning. I decided that today would be, that tonight would be a good night to uh, do my uh, DVD update video. I haven't done a DVD update video in a very, very long time, but I got a couple, well, a couple sequels to talk about, or trilogies, or, you know, but, you know, since this past uh, Friday was Friday the 13th, I, uh, well, I got something special. If you didn't see my other video that I posted uh, yesterday about Taco Friday the 13th, uh, you'll get to see kind of what I was talking about. Uh, well, I don't even know if I even mentioned it. You know, come to think about it, I don't think I even, think I even mentioned about any of the DVDs I got. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's 4.22 in the morning, so I was like, well, you know, I figured today would be a good night to make a video, and, uh, yeah, so, let's get on with it, right? So, what did I get? Well, since it's been a long time, since actually I can say that this is the first time this year, in 2009, that I'm actually doing a DVD update, you know, I can, I can safely say that I'm pretty happy about it, because I got two trilogies, or one trilogy that I already had on DVD already uh, that was released back in 2002, but uh, they came out with the individual sets uh, this past Tuesday. Uh, what am I talking about? Well, I wasn't going to kick it off with this, but I figured since I'm talking about it, I'm talking about Back to the Future. This is the two-disc Back to the Future edition uh, of, of the individual sets. And it comes in a nice package. I would open it up. There really isn't anything inside besides uh, uh, a letter from uh, the Back to the Future or dot com people, uh, let you know a little bit about the Institute of Technology and whatnot, and all the features that are here in the Back to the Future movie, uh, and just two two DVDs. Nothing, no, not no special booklet really or whatever. But uh, I tell you. It was still worth it, nevertheless. Huh? Back to the Future. What can I say about Back to the Future? This is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. And it has always been my favorite of all time. Well, actually, Part 2, which I also got in Part 3, is my favorite. But why did I get these when I already had the box set? Well, not just so much for the bonus features, because in this feature set, it also includes, uh, well, let's see. It includes the Looking Back to the Future, the nine-part documentary, independent documentary that they, that BTTF.com produced and whatnot. Kind of an independent thing. Uh, Back to the Future at Night, which was uh, hosted by Leslie Nielsen uh, on the set of Back to the Future and Back to the Future Part 2. It's a rare TV special. And, of course, and the, uh, the complete uh, Back to the Future The Ride thing that I haven't seen yet, but I will. Once I get my new TV that I'm supposed to be getting, I'm supposed to be getting a, a 26 inch LCD uh, Vizio uh, widescreen TV. And when I get that, I will show you guys. But for now, because I'm selling my 52 inch projection to a friend of mine, and uh, why am I selling that? Well, just because, you know, I need the money. Well, actually, I don't really need the money, but I, I want this new flat panel TV because I'm into that now. I'm not into the big tube TV area anymore. Sure, the TV's nice, but I've had it for over two years, and I want something a little bit better, a little bit more HD, you know. Something with a little HDMI uh, in it. But this will look perfect because it's widescreen, it's about two hours long, and the reason why I got this was, like I said, not for the, so much for the bonus features, but because of the fact that it, they use the original covers, okay? the If you remember what the VHS copy looked like, Back in the day, uh, when they first were released on VHS, this is the original cover that they used, all right, for the movie. Uh, let's see, what can I say here? Uh, now, the back is totally different, okay? The back is not like, it would have been kind of cool if they would have stuck to the theme of, you know, how they did the VHS, and let's say all the bonus features, but it, it actually looks pretty nice, the scene. I believe this is where, they, when they were in the, uh, by the Twins Pine Mall, and uh, where Doc Brown and Marty McFly were getting introduced to the DeLorean, and 
how fast it could go and all that stuff, where you could go and, you know, all that jive. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, but mostly because of the original covers. And not, not just the fact that they're individual. If, if they would have had uh, the same features, because these all have pretty much the same features as the box set, but be, because of the original covers, and I like the packaging, you know, that is important to me. You gotta, you you'll know you'll know if a DVD is good if it has good packaging. If it's something that's really crappy, like you see from like Madison Entertainment or Mill Creek Productions or whatever. Sure, some of that stuff is good, but if it I mean if it looks cheap or whatever, then you know the disc will probably be cheap. The quality will be cheap, and you don't want that. Even if you're paying five bucks or or twenty bucks, you want quality. You know. And especially since I'm going to be getting a new TV, this will look better than I ever did in the theaters when it came out. So I got Back to the Future Part 1, Back to the Future Part 2, which uh, had, is just a one disc. The Back to the Future Part uh, uh, 1 is the uh, two disc because of uh, more features or whatever. And Back to the Future Part 3. So if you're a big fan of the series, which I think most people are... Yeah, I can do this here. It might look like a deck of cards here. Ah, uh, totally do it like that. Uh, whatever. Uh, well, I'll see how we can do it so we can get it working here. So if you're a big fan of the trilogy, pick up the individual copies of Back to the Future, Back to the Future Part 2, and Back to the Future Part 3. I highly recommend it for anybody who's a true Back to the Future fan and uh, who, who likes, I mean, look how nice this, these covers are. And these are, like I said, the original covers that were used in the Back to the Future movies. Or for the VHS covers. Even when they put them on a laser disc. Even on the soundtracks for the CDs. Even the promotional posters. This is what they use. Uh, the box set doesn't have that. Now the box set of the, of, of the discs that are in there are the original covers. They didn't do that with this this set. Uh, this set it just says Back to the Future Part Whatever, and it's just like a black label, so or black color or whatever. It still looks kind of cool though. Although I wish they would have stuck with the the format. But any way you put it, no matter no matter what, this is a great movie. No matter if there was no features in it, you know, even if they did use the original covers or whatever, you, you know, I mean this is as classic as it gets as far as I'm concerned. So, there you go. Back to the Future Part 1, 2, and 3. I mean, it's just a great collection. And uh, I really, really, really recommend it. Okay, when we get, uh, when we get to Part 2, I'm going to be talking about some movies that I got from a, from a somewhat well-known director. Uh, I don't know how many people really know about him. Uh, kind of independent. Somebody, a guy in California. And then I'm going to talk about uh, another set of duties that I got. And uh, we'll see what happens at part two. So we'll see you in a few minutes on part two. Part two. All right. Rock on.